We up and I'm feeling like a new me. Stacking new sets, some new E. Uh, NFTs, all of them you need. All of them. Back in my zone like two, three. All time high, hit a new peak. Let's go. Homie, the bulls is back. I said the bulls is back. GM and welcome back to the channel. In this one, a market update here. We've got some news around the ETF plus with and some other bags as well to go through. So without further ado, let's just jump on in here. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. So starting with some boomer markets here, NASDAQ is now at a new all time high. I've seen some strange conjecture from people suggesting that it's bearish, that crypto is still down like 50% from the highs, whilst NASDAQ is up at new all time highs. But this just means the great rotation for the boomer capital to come into crypto is still in play as this rips higher and higher and higher. And if there is a continued dislocation between crypto and these traditional markets, eventually these TradFi bros are going to come in with size and pump the damn bag. So I'm highly bullish on this. I can't understand why people are bearish. Let's pull up the SPX. All time high somewhere around 4820s, currently at 4740. So that looks like it's going to follow in the footsteps of the NASDAQ as well. And then we have BTC here pumped up nicely from yesterday's dip to the low 40K region, now at around 42.9, 43K this morning. So the dip very shallow yesterday, even though we were kind of expecting maybe a bit of a deeper retracement, it hasn't happened. And people continually have to chase higher and higher prices to get allocated to the markets. James Seyfart here with the ETF update. So S1 amendment drops from BlackRock for the spot ETF application here. So there was an amendment yesterday and he goes into further detail just a bit further down. It's all about accepting the SEC's edit on cash creations, he says. So this some minor dotting of the I's, crossing of the T's, and I'm seeing some people suggest this means the ETF is coming a lot sooner than people actually anticipate i.e. even this week. So of course we'll see if that does occur, but I would imagine it would still be the January the 11th deadline that we see a mass of approvals go through. But if we do get a shock prior to Christmas, I think we might see some God candles get printed as that would catch a lot of people off sides and they would have to chase even further. So pretty crazy times to be alive a week before Christmas and there's just tons and tons going on. No respite and a lack of presence bought at this moment in time. So some whiff updates here to start off this video. In the past 12 hours, we have had the dog still with a hat on. We've also got the dog has a new pool on MarginFi. So you can actually deposit your whiff onto MarginFi, the lending platform over on Solana and actually start to accrue some margin five points. Those points will be prizes in terms of airdrops. There is no current yield for actually depositing the coin, but you can place your whiff on there and then accrue points based on its dollar valuation. And finally, you can see the point there, the dev sold all his whiff and we have ripped two new all time highs, which has been rather hilarious. However, it now does have its first centralized exchange listing. So Max C have just pulled this one out of the bag. Max C alert, new listing with to USDT. So this will be the first centralized exchange with WIF on it. Presumably they've been accumulating some tokens on the open market to actually list this with some liquidity. So that is very interesting. The first centralized exchange and we're expecting a lot more. David G with the update here. So woke up to this earlier and this was all around the dev selling. So he says the whiff dev was salty that he cheated his coin super early and is trying to grift his way into making it all back. Sorry pal, the dog has a hat and you fumbled the bag. Now this is a strange comment down here. I don't know why people would buy a coin of a dev who cheated his own supply at less than five mil. What do you think is going to happen if Ribbit pumps? So of course this is a Ribbit bag holder here. But in my mind it makes sense that this thing has a lot more fuel to run if all the big holders and the team have actually sold their coins already. It's still continuing to pump and no one has a massive supply overhang. That is very bullish and that is similar to what happened with Doge. The Doge dev cheated his coins early and then we know what happened after that. So here is the chart for with the dip overnight here from around 16s down to 9s. Apparently that was to do with the dev FUD. I'm not sure if that has anything to do with him actually selling coins, but the dev FUD was coming out. And then you can see it just rips higher and higher and higher. Of course, with any meme coin, you do get these crazy pullbacks, which that's like 40% in the space of like a couple hours there. 
but that is pretty much par for the course for all of them, unfortunately. But what we're getting is more and more tokens distributed across a wider audience, almost at 19,000 holders of this thing. And the WIF army keeps trudging along. And I'm seeing that the meme itself is getting utilized a lot more. I'm seeing people with it in their Twitter handles. I'm seeing people identify with WIF. It seems like a very, very strong meme. Definitely some really good vibes around this one. Then we also have to take a moment for Cock Inu here on AVAX. Also a very similar market cap. That's currently at 197. Pretty much neck and neck, Cock and WIF. These two meme coins have been absolutely mooning together, launched similar kind of time horizon as well, but shout out to the boys on AVAX as well, absolutely printing there. So back on December 13th, the real spark for the momentum on WIF was Ansem saying, look, I found the next meme cult and it can probably do 100x or whatever, or 100 mil. And he says this morning, replying to this, my fault bros, I miscalculated. Guess I meant 1 billion. We went from 1 mil to 200 mil in a week. We flipped bonk in daily on-chain volume and now only behind Solana and Stables in terms of volume. And it's genuinely the best meme I've seen in a long time. I mean, he is literally wearing a hat. That is the thesis. It's a dog with a damn hat. So Tia Bros, this thing had a little bit of a pullback, but has pumped up again. So it looked like $12 seems to be the brief bottom here. It's come down a little bit to $12.50 right now. This is definitely one on the radar to actually add to. I want to get a decent bag of this staked up. And if you haven't known anything about Tia, what Celestia is, what it does, its data availability, come to the Blockmates channel here. Let's pump their subscribers up tremendously. So go ahead and do that right now. If you haven't subscribed to Blockmates, subscribe to these boys. I work with them. And this is my video here, the Celestia Explained, where you can learn everything about Celestia, the kind of law behind it, a bit of background information, what it is, what it does, and how it is key to blockchain scaling into the future with all the roll-ups that are going to be coming. And as these roll-ups, such as Manta, come to the fore, it is predicted that staking your tier will get you an airdrop of these tokens, which is highly lucrative, I believe. And so that is the reason why we want to accumulate some of these coins. As you can see, Manta, as an example, raised 60 mil from Polychain, Binance Labs, and Coin Funds. So big names in there, likely airdrop, likely gonna be very valuable. Hence, it would be nice to accumulate some tier, get it staked on the Kepler wallet. And then during the bull phase into 2024, we're gonna get a load of airdrops coming to us. So these could absolutely print for those staking tier. Then I've also bought a little bit of Jito here this morning as well, because this thing seems to be consolidating. As you can see, this is the price history. It's reminding me of the earlier Celestia kind of playbook where it finds a little bit of a bottoming area, goes sideways for a brief period and then starts to mark up again. I can't believe that four bucks, 50 or whatever it hit is the all time high for this thing. Currently at 250, I think it's a pretty good discount. And then we jump into the tokenomics here and you scroll down a little bit and you can see no major unlocks coming for one year out. So we have until December of 2024 before these tokens start to vest. So there are a limited number of tokens currently circulating. There is a big amount of kind of treasury tokens here that will need to be voted upon as to what happens with these. So if they were to unlock a load of these, we would see that on the governance forums, etc. But what's in circulation right now is what's actually going to be in circulation for the next 12 months. And so I think it's highly likely this thing does pump and we see a break of the previous all-time high around fours. So I think it's a pretty good risk to reward play. Then a quick Kajira update here as well. So 440 today you can see yesterday we wicked just below fours who is back back again the jeet is back tell a friend bigger wallets take profit says sivo and supply will be distributed more fairly this is how you build a sustainable uptrend i prefer him taking profits more than when we're up to like 20 bucks or so and he says there will be more wallets like this and let them sell now so they regret a few days later so this is the wallet here so he has a current balance of 100,000 kuji remaining he was on 170,000 kuji he's dumped 70k over the last like 24 36 hours hence the dip down pretty much responsible for these moves here and now he stopped selling again and surprise surprise it started to move higher so hopefully we can get rid of this guy get him out of his 100,000 tokens Say good riddance to him and then onwards and upwards for Kajira. But of course, if you are looking to accumulate this thing, you want to be buying as this guy is dumping. Because I do think that after he's done, it will go a lot higher, in my opinion. So we'll leave things up there. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash a like on the video. Drop me a comment down below. And I'll see you again in the next one.
Peace.